G'day, Sam O here. Now that I'm starting to get a bit done with solar power around the house, it's really important to know what all my appliances are using. My main ones is the fridge and the wireless inter the satellite internet. Um, I've got rid of the uh, electric hot water system. Well, it's still here, it's just not connected. So that was a big user. Um, got rid of another big user was the electric water pump. That's all solar now. Um, fridge, not much I can do about that at this stage. But my washing machine, I just got to do a load and see how well it draws on the power. I might even be able to run it off my little 100 watt solar system. But anyway, this is basically a version of the kilowatt meter. Just plug it in to the wall, plug your appliance in, and it'll tell you how many watts it uses. This one's fairly good. It'll have uh, minimum use, maximum use. So you can get an idea of how well you need to size your system. So just plug that in. Plug the load in. What is good? Let's go. That's just the pump filling up. 5.6 watts. So with this meter I can function through. I can set the um, cost of the electricity. I'm not worried about that these days. There's the current usage. That's the usage in kilowatt hours. That's the voltage. 240 volts standard in Australia. So pretty happy with that voltage. Current draw 0 0.032 amps. That's the low usage 2.8 watts. The high 5.6 watts. Right, our agitator's going, so the motor's running 397 watts. We'll cycle through, we'll see what the wattage was when that motor started. There you go, 397 watts, that was the high. So I reckon I can run this off my little 100 watt solar system with the uh, cheap ass scrap car batteries. This only takes about 30 or 40 minutes to do a load, so shouldn't be any problem, I'll just stick with doing the washing in the middle of the day. There we go, the spinner's going at the moment. So we're getting up around 720 watts. All right, so let's have a look. 0 0.084 kilowatt hours. Voltage, low of 2.8 watts. Well, there you go. There's a high 943 watts. So I need an inverter that can handle the constant load of 1,000 watts. I've got a pure sine wave inverter. I just need some heavier cabling to get up to the batteries. So anyway, if you're looking at going off grid or even just switching to part solar, you need to know how much electricity you're using before you start working out what panels and what batteries you need. That's the most important part. Reduce your usage 
and then work from there. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video.